What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've been ice fishing and we got a very, very special episode today. It's like a tournament. We will get into that once we get to the ice, but for now I need to go to the bait store. I'm going to buy a dozen minnows and a bunch of wax worms. I got three hours. I'll explain everything once I get to the pond. This is a super cool video and big shout out to Jake Westo Angling for again having me in the second tournament. I lost in the championship round of the first tournament over the summer and now I'm here to redeem myself for the second tournament. So hopefully Hopefully it all goes well. I'm going to an absolute juice pond, so hopefully the bite is on. So, all right guys, so I will see you after I go to the bait store and I'll explain everything after that. Peace. I just picked up a dozen of the medium shiners and I just got four dozen wax worms and then I had to grab some McDicks while I was at it too because I'm super hungry. So I'm driving with the minnows between my feet just so I don't spill them. I hate this road. So a dozen of the medium shiners, four dozen wax worms, and some McDicks and now we're gonna hit the pond and then I will explain this whole tournament. But I'm super excited to do this and be a part of it so I think you guys are gonna really enjoy this episode. Let's go. So you made it out in the ice. It's actually pretty warm out today. Just ate some nice McDicks. Not actual dicks, just McDonald's, but. All right guys, so this tournament is sponsored by Follow the Action. They gave everyone some gear, and it was super cool of them to sponsor this tournament, and I'm gonna tell you guys how this tournament works right now. So each angler has three hours to land as many fish as possible. We're gonna each post our own separate videos as we did in the last YouTube tournament. In the first round, I'm facing Tyler and Jake is facing Caleb. So each fish has a certain amount of points. So one point is a bluegill under seven inches. Two points is a bluegill over seven inches or crappie or trout. Three points is any type of bass and a walleye. And then four points being the last one is catfish, musky, northern, and carp, etc. So pretty simple. I'll pop it up all right here and I'll pop up the screenshot if it makes it easier. But big thank you to Follow the Action for sponsoring this tournament. Big thank you to Jake for inviting me to do this tournament once again. I had a great time last time and it should be pretty fun out here, so. I will give you guys the exact time I start my tournament because I get three hours, so. I'm hoping I'll be done popping holes at like 1.15, and then I'll go like 1.15 to 4.15, or maybe 1.30 to 4.30, something like that. We'll figure it out. This pond is treating me very, very well this year, and hopefully it stays hot today because I need it. Let's go. So key point for this too, I can only have three lines out. So I'm gonna have two tip-ups. I only brought two tip-ups so I can jig as well. So we're gonna have two tip-ups with minnows and then I'm gonna be jigging for bluegill as well. There's some ginormous bluegill in here. I literally just popped like eight holes in like probably a minute and a half, two minutes. That is the best gas soccer I've ever used in my life. All right guys, it is 128 on the dot. I'm gonna wait about two minutes and I'm gonna start my clock at 1.30. So I got 1.30 to 4.30. Well, it definitely helps to know this pond because every single hole is exactly where I wanted it, the exact depth. My one tip I was set there, this is about a 12 foot hole. I'm not gonna be able to explain, so okay guys, I only got three hours. I usually like to explain exactly what I'm doing and how I'm doing it, but I'm not gonna be able to as much because I got three hours, so it's gonna be more of just like a, a hustle, catch a fish, release it, and just kind of keep going. Not really like, I'll try and do my best as we go along, but kind of easier said than done. Oh, first flag, baby, and she's spinning. All right, guys, so it was spinning. I'm just giving it a little second just to make sure it's still on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. The first bass of the day being a pretty decent one. Here we go, guys. All right guys, that is under seven inches. So that's one point. All right guys, so the reason why I chose this pond is because it's loaded with bluegill over seven inches. I mean, you don't really catch small bluegill out of here. Pretty much 90 to 95% of the bluegill in here are all over seven inches. So 
I figured I want to stack the two points. I think that could definitely be super good. I just realized that I never showed you guys the time, and I just moved that tip up, so it is 1.36. Oh, baby! Look at this. That's a solid bass right there, guys. These tip ups are doing work today. That's a solid two and a half, tour. Oh, he's bleeding pretty good. Got him right in the tongue, so I'm gonna get this guy back in. Here we go. All right, guys, I'll give you a time update in a second, but we are up to three fish. All right, guys, it is 150. It is 150 on the dot. I can't even see the screen, so I hope you guys can see that. You gotta be kidding me. What's up with all these small ass bluegills today? Another one under seven. What's up with all these small fish? I cannot believe I haven't hit a bluegill. Well, I have over seven inches, I just lost it, so. I lost two of them, actually. Right in the drop, this is a good one. Yeah, baby, that's one over seven. That's a tank. Guys, this actually might be the one I lost. Look at this. Whoa, absolute tank of a bluegill. Okay, so this Follow the Action Outdoor sticker is seven inches and is well over seven. Look at that. All right, it is 205. 205, you guys get the point. 205, and I'm out to 15 points. So I started at 130, I got to 430. Another one under seven. Don't come off, don't come off, don't come off. That's a good one. There it is. Well over, well over it. Another seven inch bluegill. A nice bluegill. Oh my god. Popped off right at the hole. even catch this this should count honestly for half a point but whatever this puts me at 20 that's a bluegill over seven definitely well over seven that's a good one that's a good one that might be a bass This isn't a bass, it's a huge bluegill. It's gotta, it's gotta be a bass. Yes! Made up for that missed tip up fish. There it is guys. I will grab my phone in like two seconds to give you guys a time update, but oh man, I needed this. Yes! 
Yes, yes, yes. That's 27, baby. Bluegill well over seven inches. All right, guys, so I have an hour and a half left. It is three o'clock. This is either a big bluegill or another bass. Nice. 29 points, baby. Yes, another one, baby. Guys, these are pigs. These are absolute pigs. Guys, these are like seven and a half to like eight and a half inch bluegills. These are super nice bluegills. I mean, solid. Some solid, solid fish. All right, it is 312. So I pretty much still have like an hour and a half left. Not bad. I'm starting to get those seven plus inches, which I was targeting all day long. That's what was like my main goal to go after those. I'm gonna say that one's under seven. It's a nice one, but I'll just go measure this one. This one's super hard. Nah, no way. This one's under seven. Under seven, 35 points. measure this one because I have no idea all right so with that last two point seven inch bluegill I honestly have no idea what I'm at I forgot what number I said last either I have no idea what I got but it's all right it's all right the day has definitely picked up for me I'm kind of bummed that I lost uh, track of the score I know I was up to like 35 or 37 it was something super close or maybe 33 Seven. This is what this pond is known for and this is what you catch all day long. To catch all those small ones in the beginning, that honestly made no sense to me at all. I've never caught any of those small bluegills before. And of course that, that had to happen in the tournament, but not really sure what I'm at anymore. Another seven inch bluegill. This is another good gill. This feels like another seven incher. Nope, and it's not. Damn it. All right, one under seven, one point. I'm definitely very close to 40, if not over 40 by now. Well under seven, that's another one under seven inches. I need a time update. One hour left, folks. One hour left. It is 3.30. Oh, that's a nice one. Well over seven. Well over seven. Super good gill. Super, super good gill. I hit the maximum recording time, but I just caught one. Under seven. This was right after that last one that was over seven. One over seven tank, dude. There it is. Another one over seven. That guys, see, this is what this pond is known for. It's just tanks. And if I would have had this like the first hour, I would have been in really good shape. I could have probably hit like 75 points today, but I don't even need to measure these because they're they're giants. You don't see bluegills like this every day. Cause I'm thinking, and I'm cooking up some cooking. 
There are so many fish in this hole. Oh my god. That's that's like a nine or ten inch bluegill. Oh my god. That's like a nine, maybe even that's close to ten. That's definitely over nine. Well under seven. Oh my gosh. Give you a quick time update. 345. It is 345. I have another 45 minutes. I got till 430. One under seven, my hands are freezing and I can't wait for this tournament to be over. Just this round, I mean, because I am so cold. My gloves are soaked. Another one under seven. I honestly don't know what's worse, sticking my hands back in these gloves or just having my hands out. What's up with all these little ones now? Another one under seven. All right guys, four o'clock on the dot, 30 minutes left, and I cannot wait to get the hell out of here because my hands are so cold. If my gloves were dry, I'd be all right, but after I ate over there, it's the last half hour, I'm gonna go fish the hole that I started at. For the one time we have a tournament out here, it's all the small bluegill that bite. And every other time we come out here for a catch and cook, me and Trevor come out here. If you guys look at any other video from this year on this pond, it has been like 50 ginormous bluegill every single time. So, nothing I can really do about it, but I feel like I just could have put a lot more points up and I don't know, that, that's sad really. I just feel like I could have done a lot better with the points wise. I'm gonna pop over to that hole real quick, check it out, and then, like I said, I got like 15, 20 more minutes and that's about it. All right, guys, I got like seven minutes. Seven minutes to hit like one or two more. Oh, come on. Right before the two minute warning. I gotta go measure this. Uh, no, that's, that's under seven. All right, guys, this is right before the two minute warning. That is literally on the dot of seven. This fish is like seven, like seventh and eighth. This little bluegill actually hit seven. Another two points right before. I have three minutes left. That's why you measure that fish. Honestly, I thought it was close. I thought that one was gonna be like six and a half, honestly. It was like seventh and an eighth. It barely made it. That scared me, holy and that's it guys, 4.30, 4.30, right on the dot. I still don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this. I've been trying all damn day. I don't know, the glare, the glare is so bad, but 4.30 on the dot. I'm gonna have to go home, pretty much go through the footage, and then I'm gonna take a shower and then do my final outro for this video. I wanna know my final score, but I think I'm in between 60 and 70, my best guess, maybe 55 and 70. Like I said, I'm super fortunate that I caught a lot of fish, but I don't know why all the small bluegills were biting today. Out of all the times I've been here this year for the catching cooks with Trevor, all the videos I filmed here this year, it has been like 50 of the seven inch plus bluegills, like the big ones, and today was a lot of the small ones, which again, I caught fish. I lost two bluegills over seven inches and a bass in the tip up, so I had a pretty productive day. I can't really complain with it. I had fun, and a big thank you to Jake for including me in this tournament once again, and I'm freezing my ass off, so I'm gonna go back, shower, go through the footage, and then give you guys my final word. I'll see you guys back at home. Peace. Right, folks, that is a wrap. 57 was my final score, 57 points. I wish I hit bigger bluegills in the beginning, but I'm not gonna complain because I thought I did pretty good. I think 57 is gonna be a pretty hard number to beat, but it's not gonna be too hard, but I thought I did at least a fighting chance. So big thing to Jake for allowing me to be in the second tournament. I had an awesome time. The first one was fun. The second one was even better. This whole tournament is a really cool idea. To, like do it kind of like on our own, separate, like in videos. It's just a good idea. Big thing to follow the action for sponsoring this tournament. Such an awesome company. They're an outdoor apparel company. 
company. They have everything from fishing to hunting. Just go check them out, followtheaction.com. If you guys wanna get anything, use my promo code McGrathFish to get 15% off in your entire order. It's a great deal. Just guys, go check out their apparel. Let me know what you think, and I really think you guys are gonna like it. So, followtheaction.com. If you guys wanna find out if I won this first round or not, head over to DC Bronzy's video right now. I will leave a link in the description below for his video, and I will also leave Caleb and Jake's video below so you guys can watch the whole series, the whole first round of this tournament. You guys can follow along. So, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I will see you guys in the next episode of McGrath Fishing. Peace.